Right, we are going to the famous Brixton Minifig store. Bodie's is coming with me. Um, so this is apparently like one of the main stores in LA to go to. Uh, so I'm pretty keen to go to it. I've seen a lot of people on TikTok always go to it. So keen to finally be able to go here. So currently in Fullerton, California. So let's have a look for this store. I think it's one of these ones. Oh, yep, that's it over there. All right, bricks and minifigures. I'm pumped to go into here and see what they have. I don't know if I'll buy much, but uh, let's go. So the store was pretty quiet, so that's why I'm doing a voiceover now. I didn't want to cause too much of a ruckus, but they had heaps of sets, uh, not as much as I'd like. Uh, I was mainly here for the Star Wars figures, and I had all the Star Wars figures and sets that they had, but nonetheless, it was still a really cool store. As you can see here, we've got a bunch of Marvel figures and some random assorted ones. Some CMF and like the Disney characters. Here's all the brand new Star Wars sets. Uh, 501st Battle Pack, of course, love it. None in Australia. Had some cool buildable figures here. The Millennium, recent Millennium Falcon and the old one. Plus some, a bunch of used sets. I was surprised with the used sets because some of them are so new. Had some big uh, like Eiffel Tower Opera House. Pretty cool to see in person. I haven't seen a lot of these sets in person. And then here we had like the Batmobile and a bunch of other random use sets. I thought this NBA set was really cool because I've always seen it on Bricklink and to see it actually in person was really nice. Here we have some retired sets, Faris Quest being the main one that I thought was pretty cool but they've also got some old superhero sets. But was again, it's always cool to see these like older sets actually in person rather than just on a computer screen on Bricklink. Had some cool light up keychains here that I haven't seen like for ages and yeah this is the main kind of store at the back here they have more of these like older retired sets which was really cool if you even see at the top there they've got the old plane the mayors which was actually pretty cheap I thought it'd be more expensive it had a bunch of hidden side some Star Wars but the Star Wars is pretty expensive now onto the minifigures I loved all this vintage like knights and island people and stuff like that it was really cool had a bunch of Harry Potter as well, which I'm not interested in at all. And also some Lego movie minifigures. So it was cool just to have a little look through here, but like I said, I have all these Star Wars figures, so I really don't want to get any of them. And a lot of them were actually at pretty high prices. I love that giant Django figure. I thought that was one of the coolest things. I thought I was going to get this uh, Ahsoka set, but I ended up switching it for the Fiber First Battle Pack, uh, just because there's none in Australia. And lastly, that uh, Avatar set I thought was really damn cool back there. And I got this little brick figure as well. Thanks for watching guys, I've got a few more coming out soon.